may we call on Dr. Larry N. Digal, the Chancellor of UP Mindanao, to give his message. University officials, Dr. Emma Ruth Bayogan, Director of UP Mindanao Center for the Advancement of Research in Mindanao, our man of the hour, Professor Jose Eldefonso Rubrico, the program leader of Sky and Hawks programs, distinguished guests, faculty members, staff and students, friends, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the launching of the Artificial Intelligence and Robotics flagship programs of UP Mindanao. The theme of UP Mindanao's 27th anniversary celebration this month of February is rising above disruptions, sustaining the culture of excellence towards the next normal, or pagbarog batok sa suliran, pagpaundayon sa kultura, sa kinamaayuhan paingon sa next normal. The pioneering R&D initiatives in artificial intelligence and robotics of UP Mindanao, spearheaded by Professor Rubrico, is a significant feat and without a doubt, an excellent model of how we can rise above the disruptions caused by the COVID-19 pandemic and carry on with our culture of excellence towards the next normal. To recall, the DOST launched the Philippine Sky Artificial Intelligence Program, or Sky Pinas, and the Autonomous Societally Inspired Mission Oriented Vehicles, or ASIMOV program, on April 8, 2021, along with other AI projects. Sky Pinas aims to bridge the gap between available big data and popular remote sensing applications through the Automated Labeling Machine Large-Scale Initiative. The ASIMOV program, in collaboration with the DOST Advanced Science and Technology Institute, aims to develop autonomous vehicles for deployment in real-life dynamic environments. Its aerial component is the Harmonized Aerial Watch and Knowledge-Based Survey, or HAWKS project. The three-year Sky Pinas and ASIMOV programs have a whopping collective grant of about 427 million. Certainly, these AI programs will raise UP Mindanao in the emerging technology sector, as well as attract and build the capacity of researchers towards the eventual planned establishment of our College of Engineering. In line with this, we have forged partnerships with relevant parties in industry, academia, and the government. We also partnered with two Philippine Science High School campuses here in Mindanao for internships in our AI programs, and hopefully also to attract the best and brightest high school students, the cream of the crop, to our campus. In closing, I would like to take this opportunity to thank Karim for organizing this launching event and to congratulate Dr. Rubrico and his team for leading a significant milestone in AI and robotics for our campus. Hopefully, we can tie up all things together under the umbrella of our Mindanao Innovation Initiative Program, together with our Smart Campus Plan, Proposed Knowledge, Innovation, and Science and Technology Park, and the aspired College of Engineering in our campus. This will definitely strengthen our proposed programs on MS Electrical Engineering and Computer Science and the BS Data Science, and will align with the UP Systems plan to establish a center for intelligent systems. Dagang salamat, padayon. Thank you very much, Chancellor Digal. At this juncture, may we call Dr. Richie May Gamot to introduce to us our featured speaker for this part. A virtual round of applause, please.
Thank you very much. It is my pleasure to introduce to uh, everyone our uh, next speaker. Jose Ildefonso Rubrico is a professor at the University of the Philippines, Mindanao, under the Department of Math, Physics, and Computer Science. He leads the two DOSD-funded flagship initiatives in AI and AI robotics launched in 2021, namely the Philippine Sky Artificial Intelligence Program, or Sky Pinas, and the Autonomous Societally Inspired Mission-Oriented Vehicles Program, or ASIMOV. He served as the first Balik scientist of the DOST Advanced Science and Technology Institute with engagements in 2017 to 2018, doing artificial intelligence and robotics research. In 2019, he concluded a year-long term as visiting researcher at the Research into Artifacts Center for Engineering of the University of Tokyo where he was previously a postdoctoral research fellow and briefly an assistant professor. Before that, he works in the energy industry, building high pressure, high temperature downhole tools as an electrical design engineer. He is a former faculty member of the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering in the University of the Philippines, Diliman. He obtained both his Bachelor and Master of Science in Electrical Engineering degrees from the University of the Philippines, Diliman, and his PhD from the University of Tokyo with a dissertation on scheduling of multiple intelligent agents. Wow, that's a mouthful. His primary research interests are mobile robotics, artificial intelligence, algorithms, and optimization. Our speaker has a lot under his name, including publications and previous research engagements, of which I cannot possibly list in the interest of time. Once again, it is again my pleasure to introduce to you Professor Jose Ildefonso Rubrico. Thank you very much for the wonderful introduction and a pleasant afternoon to all our attendees in Zoom and viewers on Facebook. For this, we've prepared a multi-part video presentation entitled, Empowering the Filipino Nation, Flagship R&D Programs for AI and Robotics Innovation and Capability Building at the Grassroots, which will give an overview of the research initiatives that we are currently working on. Also included is a soft introduction on the current AI and robotics revolution that is going on in the world and in our country, and finally, a virtual tour of the Kareem building, where the two flagship programs will be situated. Artificial intelligence is seen as a powerful agent for good that could provide solutions and opportunities that Filipinos can maximize. In the efforts of strengthening AI research and development in the country, the Department of Science and Technology, Philippine Council for Industry, Energy and Emerging Technology Research and Development launched nine new AI projects in April 2021. Two of these endeavors, the Asimov and Skypinas programs, are the flagship programs of DOST in AI robotics and artificial intelligence respectively. These two are spearheaded by the University of the Philippines Mindanao in partnership with the Department of Science and Technology, Advanced Science and Technology Institute, with DOST Balik scientist and UP Mindanao professor, Dr. Jose Aldefonso U. Rubrico, serving as program leader of both. The Autonomous Societally Inspired Mission-Oriented Vehicles, or ASIMOV program, is the DOST flagship R&D program in artificial intelligence and robotics and comprises two projects. The Harmonized Aerial Watch and Knowledge Base Survey, or HOX project, which is the aerial component, and the Robot for Optimized and Autonomous Mission Enhancement Response, or ROMER project, which is the land-based component. The program aims to develop AI-enhanced robot technologies capable of independent navigation, collision avoidance, vision-based feature detection, and environmental mapping. These intelligent robot platforms will be utilized to perform tasks relevant to the application being addressed. For example, perform optimized search, 
dispense chemicals, or map an area. Finally, a visualization system prototype will be implemented to aid in data-driven decision-making with the field-acquired data organized and presented as useful, relevant, and actionable information. The ASIMOV program originated from Dr. Rubrico's Balik Scientist engagement with the DOST ASTI in 2018 as he established grassroots efforts in AI and robotics through the AI Robot Project. The project designed and developed an intelligent mobile robot that can assist during disasters in the country. On the other hand, the Philippine Sky Artificial Intelligence Program or Sky Pinas is the DOST flagship R&D program in artificial intelligence. It seeks to address the gap between big data availability and the lack of sustainable technology-based framework for the widespread, rapid, and democratized development and employment of remote sensing applications to the Filipinos. The Skypinas program was also developed from Dr. Rubrico Stint with the DOST in 2017 and 2018 through the ALAM project. This AI-based research endeavor developed and implemented a prototype image classifier wherein it can classify land cover in satellite images using deep learning models. It leverages on the synergy of the following R&D components. The Automated Labeling Machine Large-Scale Initiative, or ALAM LSI, tasked with the large-scale preparation of training datasets and implementation of initial AI models, and ASTI ALAM, in charge of full-scale training and optimization of AI models, and also acts as the primary interagency interface. The main outputs of the program would include the AI models for use by developers who would like to embed AI directly to their workflow, the AI labeled images for end users more interested in directly utilizing the AI derived information from the images, and a pool of trained experts for capacity building and knowledge sharing with stakeholders and other relevant parties. All these objectives will be implemented in the three year duration of the Skypinas and Asimov programs in line with DOST's goal to harness AI's full potential and uplift our nation by making innovation work for the Filipino people. Hi Kate, can you help me with this paper I'm making? Sure, what's it about? We were tasked to write about technological innovations in the country, and I'm really interested in AI and robotics since it is seen to highly influence our lives in the next few years. You're knowledgeable about this right, since you are a computer science major? Well, let's see, to give you one definition. Artificial intelligence or AI is a broad term for a branch of computer science that brings together various disciplines with the aim of developing systems and machines that can perform tasks previously achievable only through human reasoning, perception, or learning. Tell me more about it. I heard that recent advancements in computational power and storage capacity are bringing us nearer to creating fully autonomous robots that seem to highly influence and improve our lives in the future. That's right. AI has indeed come a long way since it was first imagined. In its modern-day context, the beginnings of AI can be traced back over decades. The term artificial intelligence was officially coined and defined during the Dartmouth Summer Research Project on Artificial Intelligence in the summer of 1956, which was organized by John McCarthy, an American computer scientist, and attended by a handful of prominent mathematicians, scientists, and engineers including Dr. Claude Shannon an electrical engineer who is considered the father of information theory. These thinkers and practitioners of various backgrounds shared a common belief that thinking could possibly be simulated in a non-human instrument. Since those early years, AI has grown into a major research discipline with significant commercial applications. From 2010 onwards, the world has been experiencing a resurgent boom in the field of AI which has been brought about by the combination of better performing learning algorithms and an exponential growth in computing power and storage capacity over the decades. 
But is it possible at all for machines to solve anything on their own? Well, scientists are continuously investigating on how to make that possible. One of the earliest results would be the first autonomous robot called Shaky. Shaky was the product of researching machine language translation. It could perform tasks relatively well within a controlled environment in the laboratory. However, creating a perfectly autonomous robot was not easy, and the real world proved to be much more complicated for the earlier inventions to function without human control. The introspective AI approach, used in robots like Shaky, proved to be ineffective in dealing with the dynamism of the real world, which, in part, led to an AI winter, wherein research interest and investment in the field withered to a minimum. In the mid-80s and throughout the 90s, a new AI paradigm became popular that veered away from generating abstract internal models of the world and instead used the real world itself as its own best model. Thus emerged behavior-based robotics, producing autonomous mobile robots that were able to respond to both static and dynamic objects in their environment much more quickly and effectively than their more traditionally programmed counterparts. A well-known product that was born out of this embodied AI philosophy is the Roomba vacuum cleaner, which used behavior-based intelligence, especially in earlier models to clean a house. For now, AI consists mainly of specialist systems that can perform a single task or a limited range of tasks exceptionally well. This currently includes applications like pattern recognition, computer vision, remote sensing applications that are significant in weather prediction, search and rescue, and disease detection. That's amazing. I'm really curious how it will change our lives in the next few years. To give you a more in-depth explanation, perhaps we can ask Dr. Joe. He's one of our professors and he's currently working on AI and robotics research. Good day Kate and Theo. The emergence of AI and robotics has presented significant benefits to industry and society in general, enhancing productivity and convenience. AI-enhanced systems are able to help people work more efficiently, and, in some cases, it can even perform tasks as well as a human, or better. To date, many of the promising results AI has to offer, stem from the incredible progress it has contributed to computer vision and natural language processing. This has resulted in a myriad of applications across a wide range of fields including the service sector, agriculture, healthcare and medicine, transportation, finance, weather monitoring and forecasting, disaster risk reduction, emergency response, arts and music, and the gaming industry, to name a few. In practical terms, these could translate to detection of diseases in plants or crops and preventing their spread, more precise medical diagnoses, thus improving treatment for patients, alleviating heavy traffic flow in large cities and preventing accidents, early detection of typhoon formations for better disaster risk management, virtual agents that can take calls and respond to clients intelligently as well as virtual assistants that can organize and help manage your busy schedule. And even text understanding systems that can go through large volumes of documents, such as court proceedings or medical records, and then summarize and highlight the salient points. These, and much more. That said, much work still needs to be done, which is why research and development is continuously moving forward, endeavoring to shape AI for the common good. Wow, it's like AI has already taken over the world. I bet a lot of scientists are developing them, given the benefits you mentioned, Dr. Joe. Yes, that's right. Research and development in AI and robotics is progressing at a rapid pace. More than 32 countries have adopted AI strategies. In the past 20 years, the number of AI publications has increased dramatically, as well as the conduct of AI conferences around the world. More specifically, the 2021 AI Index report showed analysis data from the Scopus database by Elsevier which contains 70 million peer-reviewed research items curated from more than 5,000 international publishers. The total number of AI-related publications grew by nearly 12 times between the years 2000 and 2019. 
Over the same period, the percentage of peer-reviewed publications in the field increased from 0.82% of all publications in 2000 to 3.8% in 2019. More recently, the number of AI journal publications grew by 34.5% from 2019 to 2020, a significant percentage growth compared to the previous period from 2018 to 2019 at 19.6%. This was based on data from Microsoft Academic Graph, which is a knowledge graph consisting of more than 225 million publications. The majority of AI journal publications in the past 21 years have been from East Asia and the Pacific, Europe and Central Asia and North America. Moreover, among the three major AI powers, China has had the largest share of AI journal publications in the world since 2017, at 18% in 2020, followed by the United States at 12.3%, and the European Union at 8.6%. AI and robotics have already become part of people's everyday lives. AI is present and you dictate to your phone or get recommendations for shopping, news, or entertainment, and, on many smartphones now, even when you take selfies. The core technology behind most of these visible advances is called machine learning, and in particular, deep learning, which is powered by large-scale data and computing resources. Did you know that AI may be found in the food industry as well? Picnic, a company that aims to transform the future of food service through innovative automation, developed an AI-powered robot that can make 300 pizzas in an hour. The robot takes minimal training to set up and utilizes AI to improve its performance and capabilities. Another company, Moly Robotics, is developing a consumer-friendly version of a robot kitchen, which will include a built-in smart dishwasher and refrigerator. Dynamic robotic systems are also available for home and industrial use. One of the early inventions that became quite well known as a functional household item is the Roomba, an autonomous vacuum cleaner, released by a company called iRobot, founded by Australian roboticist and MIT professor Rodney Brooks. The Roomba uses artificial intelligence to scan room size, identify obstacles, and remember the most efficient routes for cleaning. More recently, Atlas, a state-of-the-art humanoid robot, built by Boston Dynamics, demonstrated the ability to jump, run, backflip, and maneuver uneven terrain, feats that were impossible for robots just a few years ago. Such advanced robots have potential applications in performing tasks with human-level dexterity, or better, under adverse environmental conditions, for example, in places contaminated by nuclear radiation, or on the surface of the moon and other planets. Among the most revolutionary shifts brought by the emergence of AI is its marriage with robotics, traditionally used in automation. This has enabled the development of intelligent autonomous vehicles that are aware of their surroundings and able to make decisions based on what they sense. Popularly known as self-driving cars, these AI-powered mobile robots are poised to impact the entire automobile industry and transportation sector, and as a consequence, traffic management and city planning. Advancements in this exciting field point towards improved crash prevention, providing mobility to the elderly and disabled, increasing road use efficiency, and more. AI is also increasingly being used in biomedical applications, particularly in diagnosis, drug discovery, and basic life science research. Other applications of AI in healthcare include robot-assisted surgery, virtual nursing assistance, dosage error reduction, and preliminary diagnosis. Given the above-mentioned impacts and socioeconomic benefits of AI and robotics, several AI policies and national strategies have been laid out by governments worldwide to strengthen research and development efforts in these fields. Increase in investments for research and development are likewise being lobbied, with the government seeing AI as a nation-defining capability. The total global investment in AI increased by 40% in 2020, relative to 2019 for a total of 67.9 billion US dollars, encompassing private investment, public offerings, merger and acquisitions, and minority stakes. Looking at global private AI investment alone, 
there was a 9.3% increase in the amount from 2019 to 2020, despite, or perhaps due to, the pandemic. This is higher than the 5.7% increase from 2018 to 2019. Out of the close to $68 billion AI global investment in 2020, around 42.24 billion of these were private investments, 4.14 billion US dollars were public offerings, 18.9 billion were mergers and acquisitions, and 2.544 billion were minority stakes. Looking at the investments by country, the United States remains the leading destination for private investment, with over $23.6 billion in funding in 2020, followed by China at $9.9 billion and the United Kingdom at $1.9 billion. Meanwhile, the following are focus areas which received the greatest amount of private investment in 2020 as well as their respective investment amount in 2019. Moreover, more than 200 AI-related projects were announced in 2020, with over $70 billion public funding released. 85% of these global initiatives originate from Europe, Asia, and Australia, with drug discovery and healthcare applications receiving the highest funding. Dr. Joe, how's the state of AI in the Philippines? Currently, there are several studies and programs being pursued and supported to further the research and development of AI and robotics in the Philippines. The Department of Science and Technology, or DOST, has created a 10-year framework for AI R&D in the country. This elaborates the R&D priorities to pursue for the years 2019 to 2029, including the current state of AI in the country. In order to achieve its objectives, DOST has started to invest in establishing the necessary national infrastructure by empowering AI R&D centers that will cater to mission-driven AI and R&D programs. DOST has been supporting workforce development and capacity building for researchers, as well as the research and development of AI technologies and their application in various fields such as health, agriculture, education, governance, disaster management, and emergency response, to name a few. Moreover, DOST also aims to engage policymakers and stakeholders, especially in the formulation of AI policies, laws, and standards to boost, and at the same time, temper the application of AI in the country. On April 8, 2021, DOST Philippine Council for Industry, Energy and Emerging Technology Research and Development launched nine new AI R&D initiatives aimed at spurring the growth of this game-changing emerging technology in the Philippines. This was successfully held in an online event led by the DOST Secretary, the Undersecretary for R&D, and P-Shirt Executive Director. In August 2021, the DOST P. Shirt organized a five-day online training on multitasking artificial intelligence for ASEAN member states. This initiative was conducted to help enhance the technological capabilities of ASEAN countries and remain globally competitive as a region. Meanwhile, in May 2021, the Department of Trade and Industry has also launched the National AI Roadmap, aiming to increase Philippine gross domestic product by 12% by 2030 through the adoption of AI in the country. I heard you're currently spearheading AI and robotics research, Dr. Joe? That's true. Two of the nine AI R&D initiatives launched by DOST P. Shirt in April 2021 are implemented by the University of the Philippines Mindanao in close partnership with the DOST Advanced Science and Technology Institute, or DOST OSTI. These are the Philippine Sky Artificial Intelligence or Sky PINAS program and the Autonomous Societally Inspired Mission Oriented Vehicles or ASIMOV program. The Sky PINAS and ASIMOV programs are the flagship R&D initiatives of the DOST in artificial intelligence and AI robotics, respectively. I'm program leader of both. That sounds great. Could you please elaborate on the objectives of these programs? To discuss further, the ASIMOV program is aimed at developing autonomous robots capable of independent navigation, vision-based feature detection, and environmental mapping. AI enhanced mobile robots to be deployed in the field under real-life conditions, particularly in unstructured and dynamic environments. 
This program is a crucial step in the auto-nomation of various practical applicants in industry as well as services for the public good, for example, in rough terrain agriculture, infrastructure monitoring, or search and rescue, among many others. This entails using payloads that provide data on relevant application-specific features like the detection of a deadly crop disease. The Asimov program comprises two projects. The Harmonized Aerial Watch and Knowledge-Based Survey or HAWKS project, implemented by the University of the Philippines Mindanao, is the aerial component which will tackle the development of core technologies necessary for the autonomous deployment of unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs. While the Robot for Optimized and Autonomous Mission Enhancement Response or ROMER project is the land-based component which will develop similar capabilities and is implemented by the Department of Science and Technology, Advanced Science and Technology Institute. Meanwhile, the Sky PINAS program is aimed at addressing the gap between big data availability and the lack of a sustainable technology-based framework for the widespread, rapid, and democratized development and deployment of remote sensing applications to the Filipinos. It leverages on the synergy of the following R&D components. The Automated Labeling Machine, Large Scale Initiative or ALAM LSI project, which is implemented by the University of the Philippines Mindanao and tasked with the large scale preparation of training data sets and implementation of initial AI models. And the ASTIA Automated Labeling Machine or ASTIA ALAM project, which is implemented by the DOST, ASTI. Asimov and Sky PINAS as the flagship RD programs of the country in the key emerging technologies of AI and AI robotics, and as sister initiatives, synergize to develop technologies that are not only academically interesting, but more importantly so, enable the development of practical applications that serve the needs of the country and build technical capacity and integration at the grassroots level across different stakeholders ranging from students, researchers, academics, industry, government, and the private sector. Wow, that's great! Thank you so much for the helpful information, Dr. Joe. Advancement of Research in Mindanao, or CARIM, was established in line with the university's mission of furthering support for research and development initiatives in Mindanao and the country. CARIM is situated along Maguindanao Road at the west side of the UP Mindanao campus. Envisioned as a geometrically arranged multi building complex, it is designed according to the Green UP Initiative with an interior courtyard and surrounding gardens, rainwater catchment facility, and alternative cooling systems to lessen the use of air conditioning. Future plans also include the installation of solar panels to promote renewable energy for the needs of the building and its immediate environs. The first building of the complex, Karim 1, was completed in 2018. The second building, Karim 2, is due to be completed in March 2022 and turned over to the end users, namely the Harmonized Aerial Watch and Knowledge Based Survey or HAWKS project under the Autonomous Societally Inspired Mission Oriented Vehicles or ASIMOV program. The Automated Labeling Machine Large Scale Initiative or ALAM LSI project under the Philippine Sky Artificial Intelligence or Sky Pinas program.
Both the Asimov and Sky Pinas programs are spearheaded by UP Mindanao in close partnership with the Department of Science and Technology, Advanced Science and Technology Institute, or DOST ASTI, and are under the leadership of Dr. Jose Ildefonso U. Rubrico, currently a full professor of the university, who in 2017 and 2018 became the first Balik scientist to be hosted by the DOST ASTI. ASIMOV, the first full-scale AI and robotics initiative of its kind in the Philippines, officially commenced on June 15, 2021. It is the flagship R&D program of the DOST in artificial intelligence and robotics with a total budget of around 54 million pesos funded by the Philippine Council for Industry, Energy and Emerging Technology Research and Development or DOST Pishir. The Asimov program is aimed at developing autonomous robots capable of independent navigation, collision avoidance, vision-based feature detection, and environmental mapping to be deployed in the field under real-life conditions, particularly in unstructured and dynamic environments. Skypinas, funded through the DOST Grants in Aid Program, began its implementation on October 1, 2021 as the flagship R&D program of the DOST in Artificial Intelligence with a total revised budget of around 210 million pesos. The Skypinas program is aimed to bridge the gap between big data availability and the lack of a sustainable technology-based framework that is needed for the widespread, rapid, and democratized development and deployment of remote sensing applications. The ASIMOV and Skypinas flagship programs with their mandate to develop cutting-edge innovations as enabling technologies towards the implementation of solutions to pertinent problems in the country are also meant to increase the visibility and footprint of UP Mindanao, particularly in the emerging technology sector, and to attract and capacitate research staff and faculty towards the establishment of a College of Engineering in the University with a strong ICT component.